All right, we're doing a little video here to show you how our launch control device works. Um, a lot of people have been asking about it, and there's a little bit of uncertainty as to how it works, but it's a pretty simple device. What it does is it basically slows the clutch pedal disengagement automatically. And um, how we have it set up is we have it in our race car right now. Um, what we're going to illustrate here is how it slows down the clutch pedal disengagement, right? So basically, as you can see, as you can see right here, I'm hitting the clutch. You see how fast it disengages, right? Well, on my staging brake, I have the um, launch control device enabled. So now when I'm on the staging brake, on, see how slow it releases? What that basically does is, all that is is about 0.2 to 0.3 second delay, and it stops you from hitting the drivetrain so hard and breaking parts, like I would. I've broken probably 150 transfer cases in my career, and what this does is it basically stopped me from breaking transfer cases and made me a whole lot more consistent. All right, so what we're going to illustrate here now is we're going to show you how you adjust the launch control device because on different days and different track temperatures, different temperatures, the track conditions always change. So you want to be able to adjust the amount of slip that you dial into your clutch. So maybe you've got the clutch slipping a little too much or maybe it's not slipping enough and you're blowing the tires loose. You never want to blow the tires loose and you never want to shock the drivetrain. That's basically the secret to how my car was always so consistent. So let's gonna zoom in on a little device here basically we have this flow control valve here and here is an allen key so this is the locking mechanism so what I do is I'll put an allen key in there I'll unlock it and adjust it just turn left or turn right it's a little bit hair trigger but you can dial it in to exactly what you need and for the track conditions